Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be sharing a ton of behind the scenes things that I have been holding back and trying new makeup simultaneously because I don't know, I wanted to get ready. I have a ton of new, new in front of me and I figured why not just chat and make it a little bit more exciting. So I'm literally trying like new foundation, new primer. I have some physician's formula, new lippies from L'Oreal and I have new, news, things I've been holding back, things that have made me a little bit tired, a little bit absent on socials and just preoccupied. And I cannot wait to grab you guys all in on this new chapter, new journey. All right, before we jump in, I'm gonna remind you all to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, turn your notifications on. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to like it. All right, I have a K-Beauty Brightening Tone Up Primer. It's called Instant, what are you called? Wait, what? This is a primer you can use, it says face and body. This is JCAT's new Instant Skin Brightening Tone Up Primer. Now, skincare. I typically spend a little more money. I really tend to not do the drugstore often. I feel like I'm at a place in my life where skincare is really important to me, how my skin looks is really important to me. And, you know, I want to kind of have a luxurious experience too. I'll add that in. So I haven't been the kind of channel that's like drugstore skincare. That being said, JCAT does have new skincare products that reading the ingredients and using them a couple of times, I have to say they're pretty great. They have an oil cleanser. I will put an insert in. It's actually in the bathroom here that is phenomenal for taking makeup off and really affordable. So I wanted to give that a shout out because whenever I find an affordable option, especially for skincare, I have to let you guys know. I have not tried this one and I'm very, very curious. I want to know why it says for body too. Maybe we'll like take it down the neck. Now this says it will hydrate and smooth. It says after skincare, apply a proper amount. I don't know what that means. Gently blend it evenly on the face and neck, wear alone or under makeup to create a brightened look. I'm actually gonna take like a little stippling brush just cause I do wanna take it down the neck. I honestly have never thought to do that, to put like a brightening primer, smoothing primer on the neck, but I guess like with the lines here and whatnot and taking foundation down the neck, that's not a bad idea doesn't really have much of a scent, which I like fresh. Okay, I am gonna take, surprise, surprise, just a touch of filling primer. And I am using the Ilios Mirror. Oh my gosh, I mean, leave it to me. The one time I get like a discount code on anything, which you can use Tati 20 for 20% off. We're doing it just because it was offered. This is an expensive item. I do like super love this. This guy comes out, the centerpiece comes out here, different lighting settings. And then you have like this contraption in the back where you can put your phone in. And I just really enjoy this mirror and I was able to get you guys a discount. Why not? We're gonna be trying the Stress Less Foundation. The name says it all. It's what I need right now. And I have been really, really loving Mally products lately. They sent me a big box. This is not sponsored, but I purchased over holiday a bunch of their shadow sticks, these guys right here. And I talked about how I didn't know that they still existed. They aren't at Ulta anymore. And they reached out and they're like, hey, just so you know, uh, we still exist. We are here and we'd like to send you product. But it was kind of like, you're wrong. Like we do still exist. We are still a very robust brand. And they sent me a ton of stuff and I have been loving it. Uh, sorry for saying that to be like, oh, you can't really find it anymore. You can still find this online. I'm not exactly sure what shops they carry this at anymore, but her line, she's a makeup artist. Her line is great. So definitely check it out. I'm going to be using the shade beige. Let's go with beige. Let's see how this goes. Looks about, it's a little light, maybe. No. Let's hear it for actually matching my skin. Hurrah. All right. I'm going to go in with a beauty blender medium to full coverage with a light wear feel, de-stresses your skin, improves the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Love that. You know what we need to do? Let's Tati cam it for a second. I have so much makeup in front of me, you guys. There is so much new makeup in front of me. I'm excited. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. We're getting to all of this.
It does not cover everything up, but it's really softening to the skin and softening to the lines and hydrating. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit extra on my trouble spots right here, just to see how it layers. Let's chat about the life update. Okay, you guys, drum roll please. For the first time in my adult life, I'm moving somewhere new. No family, no friends, huge leap of faith and moving out of Washington state. You guys know I left California permanently and was really happy with that choice. LA just became really toxic to me. There are a lot of bad memories there. There were, I mean, I guess there's lots of bad memories here as well. I've had a chaotic past three, four years, we all know. And I'm looking for a fresh start and just wanted to lay roots and do something new and really turn the page in a very complete way and not hang on to any of my yesterdays here in Washington state. I grew up here, you guys know that. Or in California. California, the reason I feel it became toxic for me, by the way, it's not just drama or YouTube, it's just the lifestyle the lifestyle of always needing more, the lifestyle of kind of the keeping up with the Joneses, but coupled with an online presence and career in a beauty vertical especially, just really started messing with my head in such an unhealthy way where I never felt confident enough. I never felt like I had enough. I never felt cool enough. I mean, I have been bullied for my age. Let's just start there. From the time I started my channel when I was 27, like literally it's funny to me when I was 27, it was like, get off the internet, you grandma. And now it's a much different you know, world and so many people do YouTube and Instagram and all of that. But it's sad to me in a way that I've never been able to enjoy my age online without being completely bullied for it, uh, which is ridiculous because God willing, we all, you know, cross different milestones. So that's like a weird one to me and always has been. But in LA, it's so amplified. And also I'm just, I'm not in the party scene. I'm not in that social scene. I tend to be super private. So it's odd that I do what I do online. But if I look back at the beginning, I started this as a passion, as a hobby and not as a career. It grew into what it did just naturally. And I went with it and I had fun with it. And then it kind of almost swallowed me whole. It's just been a wild, wild ride. And there's so much more that I could share with you. And one day maybe I will. But right now what I need is to just kind of like wash everything clean and really have that beautiful, crisp, fresh start. And I'm hoping it will liven up my mood. Right now I don't have a backyard. So getting fresh air and sunshine, which hello in Washington, Pacific Northwest, I love you. Green, gorgeous, and the summers here are epic. But the lack of sunshine is making my mood just like sink. I didn't realize how much I need sunshine until living here and being trapped in it, especially with COVID. Like it affected me even in my videos. Like I just look gray and like green and solo. And I just want some more like liveliness in my spirit and in just like in my skin. You know what I'm saying? So we are making a move. I'm going to take a little extra concealer from this Mali face palette just because this little Tarte guy right here, which is a color corrector, light medium colored clay CC under eye corrector. I do really love it, but I feel like I have to go just a little heavier with something lighter. So I'm going to go with concealer one and two kind of mixed from here and just hit kind of that dark ish area right there. Uh, yeah, I have not felt rested because it's just been so much work getting everything prepared and kind of trying to film in advance a little bit just to keep my channel moving. I don't want to take another break. And a big part of the move and just kind of resettling, resituating, having a backyard, having better weather is because we are trying to get pregnant. So that's another thing going on, which I'm so excited about. A lot of you guys ask, are you going to share your fertility journey? I would like to, but I need to get this move out of the way. Um, I'm just setting the under eye with a little bit of CoverGirl. Not a new product, but one that I really just love. 
I'm super curious about this LA Girl matte bronzer that is like the size of my face. I did a little unboxing and shared this with you guys over on IG a bit ago and I have not tried it yet. I'm gonna go in with a Haley's larger fluffy brush. Let's see. Actually, shockingly beautiful. Okay, um, I'm not disappointed. Yay! You know, you never know when you are trying out new products, especially, no offense, but when they are on the cheap, cheap side, you just really don't know. It's gonna be like overly pigmented or patchy or whatever. All right, so I'm not gonna reveal where we are moving to just yet. I'm sure you guys will figure it out. We bought a property that needs a little renovation, so we aren't gonna be in the new house straight away, and I won't have a studio straight away, so we're just gonna kinda figure it out as we go. And I will appreciate your understanding if I am filming in some random spot in a rental for like a month-ish as we redo a new space. I'm gonna be putting together a studio, hopefully to resemble a little more of what I had in LA, more space, more drawers, because right now, this space is just so boxed in. It's like I can barely move here. I don't have a lot of storage. So I am so thrilled that I will have a studio space again. I hope to really lay roots and start a family and feel more comfortable sharing online again and just getting back in that rhythm where I take you guys with me and I'm not so closed off. Like I didn't wanna announce this until we were absolutely like in process and doing it because there is, I will say this, there is a part of me that is like, oh my gosh, like, are we really doing this? Like, are we doing this? I don't know, like, are we sure? Like, I have always been close to my family or friends in Los Angeles. I've never stepped out as an adult where I'm going to a new place that I don't know I don't know anyone and it is going to be 100% a totally brand new adventure, but I feel that it's the right thing to do. And I just, I'm anxious, but like in a good way. Next, we're gonna move into blush. I'm really curious to try this out. Either this is gonna be super cute and looks nice also, or it's just gonna be like a straight up fail. Before I get in here, I'm gonna show you guys up close. Super, super cute. Let's do another close-up before I jam a brush in here. This is called Strawberry Jam. Oh man, and they're gone with like one swipe. I'm so happy I did a close-up. So that's just for show. It kind of smells like My Little Pony and Strawberry Gum is my description. That is bright pink, but I kind of like it. Okay, I'm gonna go on top with a little bit of the anti powder from Mally in medium, just to kind of soften out a little bit of this pink that we have going on. It's a little intense. I'm not hating it though. I actually like the tone of it. I'm loving, loving with a capital L, all of the Mally powders, really, really good. This foundation, jury's out. It's not covering as much as I want it to, but it feels really nice on the skin and I'll definitely be curious how it wears through the day. Gosh, I have so many things that I wanna do and improve in my life. Like I wanna go on a skin journey. I'm on the fitness journey. I'm on the moving journey. I'm on the baby journey. It is just like, everything is happening. This is the year. Man, do I need it. I need to like race out of a lot of the darkness. I'm ready to kind of get back to me as a woman and feeling confident and like taking care of myself and how I look and feel and that connection a little more because I fell off for me as a beauty channel. So many times I have questioned, is this all vanity? Am I promoting something dangerous? Is this terrible? And I have to say with what I've been through this past year and just feeling like I don't even wanna shower, I don't wanna work out, I don't wanna wear makeup, where did my desire 
to feel beautiful go? Like, where did it run off to? And it's been a slow kind of like one step forward, two steps back kind of a thing to get back to it. And I keep saying, almost like I'm declaring it over my life, like, I feel like I'm getting back in it. And it's just been like slow increments. I still cry a lot and I still feel depressed some days and I still struggle for sure. And like people will email me and they're like, you seem kind of sad in your video. And I'm like, well, I'm still going through it. You know, I don't have resolve on everything yet. And that is a burden on my shoulders. It's heavy. And then you can start to feel undeserving and that's its own thing, right? But now I'm like, you know what? What do I have to lose? Everything is what it is. I can move forward. I'm going to work out. I'm going to show the process, the good, the bad, the ugly. And I think that's going to be kind of the thing moving forward is just really showing every step and not just the result. And hopefully that will be encouraging to anyone out there watching that has been in or is still in the same spot that I was just trying to get back on your feet. I am going to go in. I know I'm using a lot of Mally, but they sent me so much fun stuff. We're going to go boom, boom, boom. That, that, that. I like the skin today. Hello. All right, I'm gonna put on some brows. Let's speed that on up. I like it. Okay, I'm doing my brows a little bit differently. I always say that because it is a lifelong struggle. Um, but right now I'm liking filling them in a little bit closer. Thoughts? Also, I am really surprised that I am enjoying this Pro Perfect Precision Brow Plus. This one is an angle tip. Normally, I hate these kind of tips on a brow pencil, but the texture is just right. So I do really love this. The shade that I'm using is medium brown, and for me, it is a win. Um, I do have these new guys from L'Oreal. This is the Glow Paradise Lipsticks. I love this formula that comes in these tubes. Ooh, that one's really, really pretty. This speaks to me right here. This is 110 Pastel Exaltion. And then we have 130 Nude Heaven. Yeah, my lips just like do really well with this. If you have lines in your lips, if you have a little bit of that, like whether they're hydrated or not, and you struggle with the way that looks, I feel like this kind of a balm like sinks into those lines and kind of puffs them out without being a lip plumper. It's not a lip plumper. It's just like gel juicy. I need a liner. She needs a liner. Let's do a liner. It's like perfume. Ugh. Do the other ones smell like this? Hold on. One of my favorites. This is Glossy Fawn Color Riche Shine. No, this smells sweet. I think that's why I liked it so much. Ooh, the formula might be different too. Uh-oh. All right, buyer beware with these new ones. I don't know how much I love them. I do love the original. And then the other one that I have that I've repurchased is shining peach oh look at that Ooh, that that is that is used i have a gloss from number seven this is in sparkling rose i'm just gonna go here Ooh. and here beautiful all right now we are going to do a little eyeshadow i am super excited about this Physicians Formula has new little uh, shimmer strips. This is the Butter Believe It in Bronzed Nudes. I also have been reaching for this guy a lot. This I picked up at Target. This is the Sigma Ritzy Eyeshadow Palette. I can't believe out of all of my like Natasha Denona, Tom Ford, this is legit the palette that I have been wearing every day. It's so basic, but it's so, so good. I'm gonna go into Nectar. We are just going for beautiful makeup so that I can go and feel confident running errands and packing. The house that we found, heaven sent. 
It is perfect. I'm in love with this house. Like when you walk in, you just feel it. Like you can feel the sturdiness of it and just like it has such a nice, like almost like a hug. Like it just, it's so good. I'm such a homebody. So, you know, for me, having a good home is super, super important to me. As mentioned, I've gotten more into cooking, baking, decorating, just kind of embracing making my nest and I'm loving that. And that's kind of a side effect of COVID, the pandem pandemic. Um, I'm gonna go into Enrich next, the dark brown. I just got into home projects and I got so bored that I was like, what can I do? Like, I just need to organize or do something. And I haven't had a home where I'm like, I feel like I am fully gonna be here. This is it. So it's gonna be nice to be able to do that again. I really want to garden as well. That's something else I'm super interested in. My mom has taught me a lot. She is the plant lady. Like she has an amazing garden where she lives and she knows so much. To me, they're just, they, they all look like plants, you know? And she'll be like, and this is a this and that is a that. And I'm like, dang, you know your stuff. And for me, it's like that with makeup where people are like, that's another pink lipstick. And I'm like, it's not. And like, I can go into the detail of it, you know? And so she does that, but with plants and I've learned a lot and I really have wanted to get more into gardening and we're gonna have the space to do it. And I am so excited. So super beautiful, right? Can you even believe that this is Sigma and it's like blending the way it's blending? Did they redo their formula? Cause I do not remember liking it this much. Right? I will show you two swatches of what I just put on. So this right here is the brown. And then this is kind of that saddle beigey color. These are the only two that I have on my eyes right now. There is something about this particular brown that the tone of it is perfect. It's just like a really gorgeous, medium toned, cool-ish brown that is not so cool that it ends up fanning out gray. It's really nice. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this new guy from Physicians Formula. I'm gonna go into the bottom guy right here and pop this on the lid and that might be a mistake, but we're in this to win this. Let's just do it. Pretty, I like it. I'm gonna take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and we'll just start kind of playing and going up. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. That is smooth. Okay, let's go up one more. New brush, same thing. All right, with that lighter shade, I kind of gave up and just decided to go in with my finger to really lay on a thicker, more metallic feel. I am gonna take a little bit of brownstone from the Sigma palette and just kind of marry things up a little bit on the edge, just on the lid. I do wanna go on the lower lash just a little bit. I'm kind of going for it today. I'm, I didn't think I was gonna go for it, but we're going for it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes. It looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna test out YSL's latest mascara. This promises something ridiculous, like 400 times your lash volume. So we will see about that. It's pretty good. It's not knocking my socks off good, but it's pretty good. I still wanna put on a little lash. I'm so curious about this. This is a magnetic drugstore lash. It is the Naked Lashes. It says no adhesive needed. Um, use magnetic gel liner. I still feel like, is this safe for our eyes? How do you guys feel about the magnetic lash movement? They're everywhere now. Let's see here. I gotta say, they're so easy to put on. If you have not tried these, they're so easy. 
All right, you guys, lashes are on. The look is completed. I just realized I did not contour at all today. No nose contour, no cheek contour. I kind of like it. Let me know what you think of today's makeup look, what you saw that you're intrigued by. I definitely am really enjoying, obviously, the Sigma. Um, the foundation feels really nice still. And all in all, I like everything pretty much that I tried. I'm gonna kind of, you know, keep using it and I'll let you know what the smash, smash hits are. I can still taste the lipstick, which is kind of disappointing. I will throw that out there, but I'm happy to sit down, get ready, share big news with you guys. This is a huge new chapter for James and I, and we're just absolutely thrilled. So stay tuned. I will definitely be showing you guys behind the scenes a lot as we move forward now. And just thank you for your support. And I love you all so, so much. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mwah.